In this video, we're going to talk about based Brett because I was looking at the chart and the thought crossed my mind. I actually haven't made a standalone video on based Brett. Um, I have talked about it before, but only you know in a video which I talked about several of it meme coins um, for comparison's sake, right? But I haven't talked about uh, base Brett specifically on its own and made a uh, you know standalone based Brett video. So in this video, we're going to talk about base Brett because this one seems to be the most talked about, most stand out, top performing, or one of the top performing. Uh, new at meme coins that's only a few months old that's uh, hit the market recently and managed to reach over a billion dollars in market cap. Now, I actually saw this when it was low, okay, and uh, Crash Trading was talking about it. I think I didn't see it till it was a lot higher than what it was when he actually bought into it because I believe he bought this at around 1 million market cap or 1.3 million market cap was the first video that I saw uh, him talk about base Brett in where he put fifteen thousand dollars into it, uh, and I saw that video late, so I didn't see that video as he was doing it. I think I saw it, you know, a while after he had made the video. Uh, before that, I had never heard of Crash Trading, right? But Crash Trading, as you know, he's blown up, and um, a lot of people are following this guy, and you know, his calls seem to be doing. Uh, really well i also talked about resistance dog which was one that he called when i bought resistance dog uh when it was around i can't remember what the market cap was um but resistance dog is sitting i think it's like over a hundred million at the moment as well let's just quickly pull up uh redo uh resistance dog um just for let's have a look oh so 15 50 million market cap okay it is down but that did hit 130 million in market cap but we're not going to talk about resistance dog in this video because we're going to talk about base brett okay guys so crash trading right this guy returned fifteen thousand at the time i think uh hit is fifteen thousand had hit around one million dollars a while ago then it went to two million then three million then five million okay it's probably hit a lot more than that um even currently it's probably a lot more than that right because this guy got in super low right um you know there was some you know fud and all that sort of stuff okay which you we saw this big dip over here okay um there was you know people talking about you know the control of the supply and it was getting fudded by another influencer on twitter and the people were shorting it okay all the way down um from let's see where it was it was about 850 million market cap it got shorted down uh and it had a pullback it had a 70 uh, 70 percent pullback and this is where a lot of people would have got into it as well right so anyone that missed it down here they would have got into it over here right and as you can see it then exceeded a billion dollars in market cap and normally when a token exceeds a billion dollars in market cap it normally exceeds two to three billion in market cap this one has gone to about 1.9 million uh, sorry billion market cap it's on a little pullback right now but this is a very impressive very pretty chart on the four hour right now okay sitting at 1.3 billion and it's been holding this range from about the 8th of june so approximately two months almost it's been holding this range so it's showing a lot of strength the volume is looking very strong it survived a pullback right it survived fud a fud attack right so this is a strong contender you know everybody's looking for the next pepe obviously this is in the boys club mayor as well okay because brett is a matt fury token right and uh this one is specifically on base uh, maybe i didn't make that clear before many of you watching would have already known what this is but for the sake of those that don't know what this is this is on the base chain okay so you're going to see several other versions of brett on solana uh, ethereum okay um uh what uh no andy's on blast uh, so you're going to see other versions of brett but this is specifically the one on the base chain okay and uh, the argument for brett on base is it is the blue meme on the blue chain when it comes to matt fury 
tokens, right? You have Pepe on Ethereum, you have Brett on Base, you have Andy on Blast or Ethereum, okay? Many argue for Andy on Blast because it's the yellow meme on the yellow chain. But Brett, uh, sorry, and then you have Landwolf on AVAX, uh, original Landwolf on, A uh, on AVAX. Well, maybe it's not the original because there was Land Wolves on Ethereum, but Land Wolf on AVAX, or sp I think the one that's doing the best is the Land Wolf on Solana currently. Anyway, but the narrative for this, uh, which people are trying to copy, right, is the blue meme on the blue chain. And that's what Crash highlighted, right? He also talks about this, the fact that, you know, there is, uh, there's going to be a huge or a potentially going to be a huge airdrop on Coinbase somewhere along the line. Coinbase have always said that there's not going to be an airdrop and there's not going to be a token, but people are speculating that, you know, regardless of what they said, that should possibly or will possibly happen. So obviously speculation accounts to accumulation, right? So people always uh, uh, buy the rumor, right? Buy the rumor, you sell the news, okay? So not only do you have that, but um, Coinbase is the biggest chain right it's all or, or the big they have one of the biggest uh user bases right now we have ton uh that's come out right we have ton which rivals coinbase okay they have the biggest user base uh in terms of you know users on telegram right but you know those everybody on telegram is not necessarily in crypto but in in terms of the you know the on ramp into crypto a mass adoption right telegram has a very big advantage okay but um they don't have a Matt Fury meme that's leading things over on ton. Okay, guys. So specifically Coinbase, right? Coinbase has the biggest crypto user base, right? And um, I think it's like 300 million users or something like that, right? And um, they are looking to basically transition their user base from the Coinbase app not specifically, you know, from the Coinbase app, but to onboard people onto the uh, the base chain, which is the chain by Coinbase, okay? Many of you know all of this information already. If you're new to crypto, it's news to you, all right, guys? But base Brett is the number one meme on the number one chain. So the other uh, thing is, is that the number one meme on, on uh, popular chains normally outperforms the asset of that chain for example pepe on ethereum or shiba inu or or dogecoin on ethereum they've outperformed ethereum right um brett on base is well it's you can't say it's outperforming base because base doesn't have a token right but you know in terms of investing on base, right? That's where people are going to go, right? They're going to go to meme coins because you can't invest in the base chain token because there's not one. So they're going to invest in meme coins. So now that we understand that, right? Is this a good investment at $1.3 billion market cap, right? Uh, because, you know, ultimately it would have been great to get into this at uh, a 1 million market cap. Since then it's done a thousand X. So since crash put in fifteen thousand dollars it's done a thousand x right it's done a thousand x i think that's like what is that you know fifteen million dollars fifteen million dollars yeah a thousand x fifteen thousand well mind you we got in above one point so yeah so right now we're sitting at about fifteen million dollars i would assume right so that is that's 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 a great trade, right? That's the only trade that I know that's better than that in a meme coin, right? Is Shibtoshi who put eight thousand dollars into uh, Shiba Inu, which turned into five point seven billion dollars, right? And I think it, that was in four hundred days, right? So, I mean, this doesn't rival that trade, right? But this is being done publicly, right? And that's gonna attract a lot of people right that's that is promotion into this token itself right the fact that someone put fifteen thousand into this uh, token and they've made you know obviously not realized profit right and i'm sure that he's got other wallets right but 
his public wallet will be sitting at around $15 million at the time of recording this video, which is absolutely incredible. All right, guys. So you might look at that and think, you know what? Is this a good investment? There's somebody out there that's controlling the supply. He's got like $15 million worth of the token. And I'm getting in now with my small little amount of money, right? Well, you have to put that to the back of your mind and forget the fact that somebody else is, you know, a mega whale in the project, right? And look at the potential for the project, okay, guys? And all you have to do is go onto CoinMarketCap and compare it with things like Shiba Inu, okay, guys? So Shiba Inu, uh, at its all-time high, I think it went to, uh, I believe it was 40 billion, okay? So 40 billion dollars in market cap, right? What am I, this is not Shiba Inu, okay, let's, Shiba Inu, okay, which is the career, okay, SHIB, right? So, SHIB at the moment is sitting at a $10 billion market cap, okay? Many people are speculating more on Pepe right now, okay, guys? So, I think it's, I think it's better to speculate on Pepe, but again, if we look at, you know, the, the market cap that this went to before, right? Again, this went to 43 billion market cap. Okay, so we know that what the potential is for a mean coin to do, right? If Brett was to go to a 43 billion market cap, we're looking at approximately a 40x from here. Okay, guys, so your small amount of money could go up 40 times if it performed the same as Shiba Inu did in the peak of the bull run, which we see potentially coming towards the end of this year. Potentially, right, with a, with a, a spot ETF, an Ethereum ETF, Bitcoin ETF, and everything that's going on in crypto right now, what we expect to see, you know, in a Christmas rally, could we see something like Base Brett do something like what we saw Shiba Inu do, okay? That's what you have to ask yourself, okay? If you look at Pepe right now, so Pepe... Uh, went to a $5 billion market cap recently. All right. It's currently seeing a $5.2 billion market cap. Okay. Now, Pepe will potentially flip Shiba Inu at this point. Right. Obviously, it's in an uptrend. Shiba Inu is not in an uptrend. Well, it is in an uptrend. But it's not as exciting as Pepe at the moment. Okay. If you miss Shiba Inu, uh, you might be looking at something like Pepe. Okay. So, Pepe is a little... Uh, a little more than a, a little less, sorry, than a 10x away from the all time high of Shiba Inu. Okay, a 10x from here puts Pepe at 50 billion, right? So, a 5 to 10x could potentially be on the cards for something like Pepe, right? Um, if Pepe runs, you're gonna see his best friend on the base chain, Brett, run. That's just gonna happen, fortunately for you, okay. Base Brett is 5x away from the price of Pepe, right? Less, a, little, a little less than 5x away from the price of Pepe. Okay, guys? Now, if Base Brett, the worst case scenario is that it it gets to 5k or, or, it, or it matches the price of Pepe, right? If it flips Pepe, it's going to go absolutely crazy. If Base Brett flips Pepe, right, and does a 5x, a little less than a 5x from here, and flips Pepe, right? It's gonna be the number one meme coin. Okay, it's gonna everyone's gonna be talking about it. Let's sorry, let's not forget about Dog with Hat. Okay, let's not forget about Dog with Hat. But we're not talking about Solana. We're not talking about Dog Coins. We're talking about Map Viewing Meta. Okay, um, Dog with Hat is probably the biggest meme coin. Let me check the price of Dog with Hat actually. Whiff. Okay, so Whiff at the moment is sitting at. Oh no, it's not. It's not. Pepe is bigger than Dog with Hat. I thought Dog with well Dog with Hat did go a lot higher, right? But um, Pepe is bigger than Dog with Hat. Yeah, even now Dog with Hat went to four point six billion. Okay, Pepe is at five point. So so yeah, Pepe is the biggest meme coin, right? It's the biggest meme coin. New meme coin. It's the biggest new meme coin because it's not bigger than Dog's coin. It's not bigger than Shiba Inu, right? But in terms of the new meme coins, I do see that Pepe will probably flip Shiba Inu and it will be the biggest meme coin. Now, if Base Brett flips Pepe, it will be the biggest meme coin, okay? So the bull case for Base Brett 
is that it flips Pepe. I'm not saying it's going to, but it flips Pepe um, because you have Coinbase with all these users that are going to be flooding into the base chain. You know, that's going to bring a lot of money into this particular token. It has a lot less liquidity, okay? Um, $14.2 million in liquidity, okay, guys? Um, so, you know, the potential for this to pump is there. It is there. Uh, there's a lot of top holders, okay, but they are holding and everybody seems to be, you know, bullish on this particular token. The big influencers are talking about it, just like I talked about with uh, uh, Pepe, yeah, or Chinese Pepe, Pepe, Chinese Pepe, right? So, base Brett, um, let's just get down to it, okay? So, is it worth buying base Brett or dollar cost averaging into base Brett? I think yes okay guys because it does a possible 5x from here to match the price of pepe it flips pepe it goes absolutely crazy you could potentially see a 10 20x or even a 30x out of base bread okay guys that's really all i've got for you in this video let me know what you think in the comments like comment subscribe hit the little bell for notifications and i'll see you in the next one